Hello, my name's Richard, and I'm going to be reading you a story about a squirrel who loses his food. So, keep watching, and I'll see you soon. Hello, I'm Richard, and I've lost my jumper somewhere in CBeebies. I know I had it when I came in, but I don't know where it is now. Have you ever lost something? Well, in tonight's bedtime story, Squirrel can't remember where he's put his food. The story is called The Lost Acorns. It was autumn in the forest, and Squirrel was busy. He picked up an acorn, polished it with his bushy tail, and he hid it in a secret place. Then he picked up another, and another. There were so many acorns to collect for winter, and so many acorn hiding places for Squirrel to remember. By the winding path, beneath the silver birches, under the pink pebble on the riverbank, in the hollow log beside the mossy tree stump, between the tangled roots of the old beech tree, or was it the old chestnut tree? <sighs> Squirrel tried hard to remember, but a fuzzy feeling came into his head. It was no use. He'd forgotten. Oh, dear, he sighed. Then he had a brilliant idea. I'll hide all the acorns together. Then I'll only need to remember one hiding place. So Squirrel dug a big hole and rolled all his acorns into it. He covered them with soil and he raked it with a twig. And finally, he marked the spot with a long knobbly stick, a bright red maple leaf, and the plumpest mushroom in the forest. <gasps> Perfect, said Squirrel, and went home for a rest. Meanwhile, Toad was looking for a comfy chair for his burrow. He tried some mushrooms. Oh, <clears throat> one was too wobbly. <clears throat> one was too squishy. One was too spotty. Then Toad saw the plumpest mushroom in the forest. Perfect, he croaked with a broad Toad smile. Mouse hurried home in the rain. If only I had an umbrella, she sighed. Then she saw a bright red maple leaf. Perfect, she squeaked with a little mouse giggle. Bat was in his cave and he had a problem. These walls are far too slippery, he thought. I need something to hold on to. Then he saw a long, knobbly stick. Perfect, he grinned with a cheerful bat chuckle. A few days later, a snowflake drifted down onto Squirrel's nose. Ah, <sighs> he shivered. It must be winter. Time to check on my acorn treasure. He searched and searched but he couldn't find it anywhere. Then he had another brilliant idea. He could ask Toad, Mouse and Bat for help. Have you seen a long knobbly stick, a bright red maple leaf and the plumpest mushroom in the forest? Asked Squirrel. Toad, Mouse and Bat blushed. Sorry, they said. We didn't know these were yours. Thank you, said Squirrel. What I'm really looking for is my acorn treasure. Now, I've lost it forever, and I'll have nothing to eat all winter. Don't worry, said Toad, Mouse and Bat. We'll help you. And so, through the long cold winter, Bat fed Squirrel upside down breakfasts. Crunchy grasshoppers with milk. <gasps> Yummy, said Squirrel. Mouse invited Squirrel for lazy lunches. Baked turnip with corns and blackberries for dessert. Very nice, said Squirrel, and Toad served Squirrel scrumptious suppers. Pondweed soup and worm spaghetti. <gasps> More please, said Squirrel. Squirrel enjoyed all the delicious food his friends made for him, but sometimes he wondered what had happened to his lost acorns. At last it was spring. Toad, Mouse and Bat came out of their houses. Where's Squirrel? they asked. They knocked on his tree, but he wasn't at home. So 
They strolled through the forest, looking at the grass and smelling the flowers. And then they saw him standing in a circle of green leaves. <gasps> I found my acorns, Squirrel smiled. And look how they've grown. And that was the story of the lost acorns. Now, maybe if I think what else I had with me, I might be able to find my jumper. While I look for it, it's time for you to go to bed. Night-night. See you soon. Now, where is my jumper?